Courtney Wickham. I'm a science interpreter here at the Franklin Institute and today I will be facilitating one of the breakout groups for the elementary school teachers and what we really hope all the teachers get out of this professional development training is just a better understanding of how memory works and how we can teach the students in a way that really helps this information to stick in their brain even past the tests that we teach them. So we're talking about what's in their control as teachers and what they can do to really make these concepts memorable even after they graduate. The very first We're checking out the Your Brain exhibition. So the Neuroclimbers is one of our most popular areas in the museum and kids and adults alike can climb through these neurons and act as the electrical signals that are being fired through these neurons. So it's a very amazing kinesthetic experience that really helps uh, complete the full understanding of how the brain works. Um, as we fire them and we're thinking about this one word for our spelling test, we'll also be able to recall other information that we were talking about when you were helping them learn. The corpus callosum is missing in the middle. So that, yeah, that's going to be right in the middle and that's more of a physical structure. I thought the exhibit was very um, enlightening. Uh, the interactive exhibits were fantastic and it's been a great learning experience so far. It had a lot of hands-on different things that we could actually see and do to kind of test our own brain and see how we would react. So I think that was really neat to be able to see that. Everybody learns differently. If you look at something, she might have saw something different than I did. So mm -hmm. definitely, they all learn differently. It's old fashioned. Well, there's your uh, memory. There's your brain. Mitochondria. It's like two.